Hi students. Pyramid three. A pentagonal pyramid, 25 mm side, 60 mm axis, standing on HP on its base, which is cut by a cutting plane passing through the apex and making 75 degrees to HP. This is the apex. So what you have to do is keep your protractor like this, measure 15 degrees. 75 plus 15 is 90. If you measure 15 degrees there, this will become automatically 75 degrees. Chain line. Green. Green lines. V, T. Cutting plane. Once you draw the cutting plane, you have to darken the portion that is remaining. What is remaining? This much is remaining. This much is remaining. This has, has to be darkened. Okay. Now, where, do, where all does it cut? Cut the base at one, one dash, apex at two dash, base at three dash. It does not cut any of the slant edges. You visualize it. It is passing through the apex and the base. It does not cut any of the slant edges. You can see whether this green cutting plane cut any of the slant edges. No. So it doesn't cut any of the slant edges. It cut the base at one, two, three. One, two, three. One at the base. Where is one? One is at a, B. One dash is at A dash, B dash. Three dash is at A dash, E dash. Two dash is at O dash. That's all. Agreed? So I have marked one dash, two dash, three dash. Now I have to draw the plan. Drop one dash, three dash down. This is one, this is three, this is two. Connect. What do you get? You get a small triangle. Hatch it. That's a sectional plan. To draw the true shape, draw an x1 by 1 parallel to the cutting plane, x1 by 1. Draw projectors perpendicular to the cutting plane, uh, perpendicular to x1 by 1, that is perpendicular to the cutting plane. One is this far away from x1, take that distance and mark, 1, 1. 3 is this far away from x1, 3, 1. 2 is this far away from x1, 2, 1. Connect. What do you get? You get a triangle. True. Shape. Now, will this be an isosceles triangle? Will this 1, 2, 3 be an isosceles triangle? You can think what is the possibility. If this is an isosceles triangle, if you draw a horizontal line through this OP, this distance and this distance are to be same. You think of it, whether it can be an isosceles triangle. Okay. Draw a horizontal line through O, then this distance and this distance are to be same for this to be an isosceles triangle. There is high probability that it is not an isosceles triangle. If only you draw a line, you can verify. But if the pyramid is kept with one side perpendicular to VP and then cut through the apex, the true shape definitely will be isosceles triangle because there is symmetry about this horizontal axis. You keep the pyramid in such a way that there is symmetry about the center line. Then the true shape will be isosceles. Okay. Thank you.